The following will be a review of the Edit Pattern Tool in Clo. The Edit Pattern Tool is located in your 2D toolbar right here. This will allow you to edit points and lines in a more controlled way. It is very similar to the white arrow tool in Illustrator. So to use this, you simply select that tool and then you can select a point, move that. You can select a segment and move that freely. If you hold down shift, you will be able to select multiple segments and move them simultaneously, as well as points. Um, with this tool, you have some really great control options, so we're not just freely moving things around without any specific um, action or measurement change. So the first options we have are to hold shift. If you hold shift, that will give you horizontal, vertical, and 45 degree angle guides to move along that direction. The other option that we have, and I'm going to change my hem shape here just to demonstrate. If you have a very specific angle and you want to continue moving on that angle, if you have hold the control button in Mac, this will be command on your keyboard as you're moving, it will allow you to continue on that specific angle. So here I can hold, I can select this point, hold down shift, select this second point and grab control and I will be able to move them at the same time. The other option we have is to move points by a fixed amount. So to do this, you will grab your point or segment Start moving in the direction that you want to change and right click while you're in the middle of this action. So you will be still holding down your left mouse button and then right click to get this precision, precision box up. And then I can type in, I want to move this point by two inches, change my neck drop by two inches. So that's the basics of the edit pattern tool and how it works. The next set of tools that you will want to use are the edit curvature and edit curve point. These tools are very similar. The edit curvature just lets you kind of freely shape a curve in one direction. So here I can grab that segment curve, the front up and the back down. Okay, you can see that change adjust to your pattern. We're going for a high-low here, so let's correct that. If you want a more varied shape to your curve, say an S-curve, you will want to use the edit curve point. This will let you then continue to add curve points to shape a more varied curve. Now curve points are orange and you will only see them when you are on the edit curve point tool. So when you're on the regular edit pattern tool, you will not see any of your curve points. If you want to edit them, you need to switch to the edit curve point. Then you can go in select that point that exists or add new ones and move them around. You can also delete these points. So if you want to delete your curve point, switch to the edit curve point tool. You will right click on that point and delete point. You will also see the option to delete all curve points at once if you want to remove all of the shaping from your curve.
So that concludes the review of our basic editing options. For more extensive tutorials, you can visit our website at clo3d.com.